Okay, then here it is basically. Right down to this polystyrene like box. So, yeah. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but you know, whoever's packed this up is okay. There, that's all done. Don't know if you can see what I'm doing. We can obviously cut that side, you know, but I don't care. <sighs> okay, polystone isn't really the best to use. <sighs> cut. Now, finally down to the last bit. Right for the tape. Right. Okay. And there it is. It's basically just move the scissors there for a while. The Intercity two two five set. The Intercity 225, sorry. With two coaches, the DVT and. Oh, the, well, the actual logo itself is over there. And the DVT is just there. Let's start with the logo first. Still gotta use the scissors. Well, not quite. Okay, is there anything? Yep, yeah. no, there's nothing in the hole. So, rip the bubble wrap off completely. Ever so gently lift the logo out. Wow. That is incredible. For starters, it Hmm. It doesn't have a working pantograph, which is a shame. There's a button there. Doesn't do anything. But yeah, this pantograph is plastic. But this is basically using the. Well. The. Ring fill mouth, so that's it. Can't remember what type it is. Okay, there's no sprung buffers, but I wasn't expecting it to have any, because this model is how many years old? But the front's nice with the windows, and there's the swallow bird there. Okay, it doesn't have lights, but you know, the bog is a basic, but the in-city livery is spot on. There's a nice feel to it, and you can even feel the grills. That is nice. Let's go around the back. Ah, the buffers are basically different shape. These ones are round. And yeah, there's the back. Well, obviously the best thing, polystyrene a bit there, sorry. They can be driven either that way or that way, which is good. But, you know, it doesn't have lights, but I don't care. And it just have a plastic pantograph which can't be raised up. But you know, but it's not a major problem, is it? I mean, I love it. Spot on.
Right. Right, now for the third. Now well, we can do the DVT. So I can just move to there. Okay. Okay, this one's slightly more hard to get out, but you know. So I'll just pop that up there for a second while I'm doing the DVD. Crap, right. Well, for starters, it does look, as you can tell by this DVD, slightly similar to a 92. The only difference is they can't be driven light engine. There's no pantograph and they can only be driven one way. They can't be driven backwards, obviously, because it's obviously a carriage. <sighs> Sorry about that polystyrene again. The back's nice. And well, there's a fair bit of weight to that. Intercity livery there and logo. It does have the swallow bird on the front. If you can look there. And it does have... The windows are plastic. I think I might be getting huge arms because the camera's in. I've got to in the camera over. And there is a wire just say, that is annoying me, belonging to the fan. And the bogus are quite nice. It does have metal wheels, which is a nice touch. And that's all. And the roof is quite good as well. Let's just have. A look at the coaches, shall we? Okay. This is really packaged up, so you know. Ten out of ten, I suppose. Not the best, but oh well. And this coach out. Well, that is quite heavy as well. Okay, I can't remember what mark coach this is. Put it up to me. Again, metal wheels, which is what we want to see. Intercity livery there. The windows are actually quite detailed. And this, there's obviously seats in it. They're basically just, you know, well, obviously fake seats. But the nice double windows there are good. And this, like I said, I can't remember what mark it is, but I think they're both the same, actually. But I might get some more coaches, you know, to go with it. And then let's look at the last coach. And now I can lift this box out the way now. Oh yes, it looks very much the same there. All over. Oh, sorry about that. This polystyrene stuff is not really that good, is it? But yeah, they both look exactly the same. But you know. A really nice set, basically. I think everybody on this on the railway should at least have one. And I can't wait to get this running. So thanks for watching.